there so um i'm going to the workshop um later because the workshop opens slightly later so i'm quite early actually so i'm now i'm gonna explain what i'm gonna do when i'm in the workshop so what i did was um i took the left ear and then i put it on like this the way it should be and then what i did was um i used a pencil first to trace out the where the marking will be and after that I took a permanent marker and then um, make the line more obvious. So what I'll do is this entire section here will be cut off. This entire section will be cut off. And um, yesterday, I what I did was I already um, glued the the teeth area to the helmet. So now this area where the curve is is covered already by this way and what I'm gonna do is um, I'll be sending down the marked areas here as well and over here because um see um, this brow here it kind of gets in the way and it's still a little bit too tight so what I'll do is I'll loosen it up a little bit so that way when I when I close the helmet it won't be um as as tight as it was so it'll be more loose and that way the helmet will look a little bit more um more slim and over here you can see these are actually gonna be the the lens for the um the helmet so later i'll be cutting it out and then i'll be um heating up and then i'll bend it so so in a way that it, um when you look at it from a cross section it will look like it's a slightly curved because the face plate is uh, the face plate is naturally curved slightly so it's not it's not flat or anything so I have to bend the lens so that way it fits nicely around the the eyes and okay, let me just put the face plate away What I have over here is uh, in this box. Hold on. I have the um, hinges for the helmet. So this is how the mechanism will work. So it's connected by hinge. So this this large piece of acrylic will be glued onto the helmet, or this one will be on the faceplate. So once I glue that on, this is how the um, faceplate and helmet should work. So it should go nicely like this. So that way, the faceplate will be able to, to go up and down. So when it's in down, the, the faceplate will be where the helmet is. And then when I lift the faceplate up, the hinge will make the faceplate go up on the helmet. Um, something like this. So this is for the right side and then I have another one which is for the left side so one on the left one on the right so that way it's equally balanced. So later I'll be um I'll be doing some fine tuning on the helmet first and then after that then I'll put the hinges on the helmet and then I'll show you how it looks like. Hey so I'm in the workshop and uh, what what I did was I've sanded the faceplate edge a little bit so now you can see there's it's quite loose now and that's good so that way when the faceplate open and closes um, the brow here won't get in the way of the faceplate and I've cut off the area here so now my ear has space for the helmet to go through and all I gotta do now is just to glue the earpiece on like this and it should be done and over here are the uh, faceplate hinges so I just sanded them wet sanded it so the surface will be a little bit more smooth and over here are the lens for the, the faceplate so uh, so what it looks like is um, I'll paste this um, behind like this so that's how the lens will look like so for the left and the right so um, I'm gonna hit on home and then um, when I'm home I will 
um, glue this onto the lens and then add in the circuit add in the, the faceplate hinge and then glue in the ears and then the helmet should be done okay, I'm at home now and here's what I've done with the helmet so um, what I did was um, I glued the ears to the helmet with the epoxy resin so now it's gonna stay there it's not gonna move and I've glued the uh, hinge mechanism to the helmet so you can see through the eye hole there here's how the hinge will work so um, it will cause the helmet to go up and then the hinge will make the faceplate go up and um, it's still a little bit it's not not very smooth yet but it's getting there so um, let me just close the helmet slightly and show you something else alright so on the back with the faceplate what I did was um, I took some neodymium magnets and I used the epoxy resin and glued them onto the faceplate so here 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 and here and on the inside of the helmet you can see there are two magnets inside so what will happen is um, when I lift the faceplate up these two magnets are gonna attract to the ones uh, in the in the inside of the helmet so what will happen is right you can see that it's they have attracted and what will happen is the faceplate will stay up so that if I'm wearing it or whatever and um, if I were to tilt my head forward the faceplate won't drop down because um, when I didn't have the magnets uh, attached when I when I tilt the helmet uh, let's say like this the faceplate would just drop down and uh, for a manual hinge um, you know you want it to stay down and then when you lift it up you want the faceplate to stay up so um, this one is done the helmet is gonna the faceplate is gonna stay up upright so what I'm gonna do now is um, I have to make sure the faceplate stays down because I haven't attached the magnets for that so you know this part still a little bit loose so using the magnets over here before what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach more magnets here and here so what I did was um, I just took some cardboard and then measured out the the um, dimensions here so this cardboard I'm gonna resin it later and then it would just fit nicely inside here like that hold on let me just get a closer look at it alright so after I resin this uh, cardboard piece it would fit nicely into here alright and then these holes here the magnets are gonna be um, glued on like this here and another one here so that way these okay these there will be two magnets here and then they will attract to the ones that are on the face plate so you can see they fit nicely as well so once I attach this here the magnets on the faceplate will attract to the magnets that are on the helmet same for the other side so that way once um, I've done all that the helmet will stay down now when I move it around the faceplate won't shake because it's um, locked together, together by the magnets and when I lift it up when I lift the faceplate up the faceplate is also gonna stay upright because of the magnets that are inside of the helmet so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another piece because this is for the right side and I have to do another one for the left side and then after that I'll just um, resin it so um, it's more rigid because now it's still soft and flimsy and it won't work well if if I have to glue it on right away so I'll go ahead and make another piece, resin it, and then um, 
epoxy resin the magnets together attach them to the helmet and then I'll show you how it looks like later okay so the cardboard piece for the top of the helmet has been resin so I'm gonna go ahead and let the pieces cure and then once it hardens I'll epoxy resin the magnets onto the the slots here and then once that's done I'll attach them to the helmet and then this area here should close tightly and then you know, it, it won't wobble about I uh, took off the face plate from the helmet to show you how the inside looks like so what I'm gonna do now is um, I have the lens for the helmet here Alright, so this is the uh, the right lens and over here is the left lens. So I'll just um, hot glue them. So they'll just go underneath the helmet like this. So I'll go ahead and uh, glue the lens on the help on the faceplate and then I'll show you how it looks like later. Yeah, so I've glued the lens on the helmet. I mean faceplate. And here's the front and the helmet. Oh, I keep saying helmet while well, this is the faceplate. Yeah, so yeah, it looks pretty good. Covers the the uh, the eye holes completely, and it's um see through kinda. It's a little dark, but you know it helps to um cover my eyes when the uh, when I wear the helmet. Because in in the movie, um, the eyes are light up, and then you know the person's face can't be seen. So now I'm gonna glue in the light circuit. Okay, so um, I've glued the circuit to the to the faceplate, and um, it's just a simple circuit and on and off switch, I guess. And um, I have found out a problem that I've overlooked. Because the lens are transparent, when I turn it over to this side, when it's off, it, it, it seems like nothing. But when I turn it on, you see the light is um kind of shine shines at um one spot, and it looks very weird. So what I'm gonna do is um I wanna diffuse the light in a way that uh the light distributes evenly and at the same time still be able to see through so what i'm probably gonna do is uh hold on i'll just off the lights so what i got here is um a piece of paper so what i'll do is i'll just put it over the lens like this but i will what I'll do this and I'll just put the face plate to one side and get a ruler what I'll do is I'll cut away this section off alright so this section over here hold on let me just mark it with a pencil and cut it there so um, I'll get a paper for the left side and the right side and it will just cover the lens cover nearly every part of the lens like this and then the spare area down here will be the slits for my eyes to see so um, what you're seeing now is what I will see from um, the lens so the paper Hold on, let me just on the lights here to show you how it looks like. So switch on the lights. And just hold the paper close to the lens. And turn it around. And um it's it will look slightly better. Yeah, so there. Or maybe I'll just shift it down a little bit because you know, I don't want um if someone were to see me wearing the helmet, and then they they can see um the slits here, 
you know it, it won't look too good so yeah I'll, I'll work on it and then um, I'll try to get the the paper ratio right I probably won't make it straight maybe I'll make it a little bit more curved so I'll go ahead and um, work on it and then once it's done I'll show you um, how the um, helmet will look like after the resin has cured, I epoxy resin the magnets to the cardboard Then I glue the cardboard piece to the helmet For now, with the magnets that were on the faceplate It will connect to and attract to the ones that are on the bit, on the front of the helmet So if I just put the hel hel faceplate down like this You can see that it sticks nice and snug So that way see it it won't wobble about anymore then I can just lift up the faceplate it might take some effort because the magnets are rather strong so then just just pull the faceplate out slightly and then slowly lift it up with the hinges that we've installed and then it will attract to the ones that are inside of the helmet and when the faceplate is up, it won't wobble about as well. And I uh, also want to mention that I've glued the paper onto the eyes, so the light diffusion is better. So now, um, it's still kind of in one spot, but the light is distributed um, slightly better. And see the, the slits that are over here, so I'll be able to see out of the helmet still. So that's good. So, but when I'm wearing it, probably I'll be lifting up the faceplate most of the time. So, you know, sometimes I'll put it down if I have to take pictures or something. So, yeah, I guess, so this wraps up the whole project. So, I'll just um shift it down onto my floor and show you how it looks like from all angles. So we got the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So yeah, that that wraps up the uh, the whole project. So I'll be, you know, this will this helmet will go with um the suit that I have and yeah also here's um, how it looks like when the face is lifted up so um, I I'll go ahead and put this on to um, together with my, the suit and I'll show you how it looks like yeah so um, here's how the helmet looks like together with the suit and it looks great you now with the chest but you know the the lights there on the eyes isn't as bright but you know it doesn't really matter so to compare with um, the helmet that is on the right which is um, the one from the movie you know, it's pretty accurate just that you know this one still has um, imperfections here and there but you know it's getting there so um, so that wraps up um, this project which is the Iron Man Mark 6 um, cardboard helmet so um, I'll be doing another another helmet but this time um, I'll be using um, the paper template which means um, it's, it has more details and it's uh, you know it's more uh, shapey compared to the cardboard one it's pretty much the same but you know there are more curves here and there and also I'll be using um, a higher quality body filler which is um, a body filler with a hardener so um, when it when you sand it um, it won't have cracks and holes because um, um, the one this one that I used was um, supposedly for for filling up walls which is um, not the required not um, a good filler to use so I'll be using a filler with hardener 
and um, that filler is somewhat like a bondo but um, it's to it's used to seal up um, boat boats and cars like if a car has a dent and then the body filler will fill it up and um, for boats is to like seal up um, holes so it's pretty strong so I'll be using um, that body filler for this but you know this one um, I still have some work to do with it with to fill it up with fiberglass cloth and then once it's um, completely rigid then I'll start with the body work and then this one will be a uh, once I finish the bodywork, I won't be painting it on this helmet. I'll be mold and cast it in a in a silicone mold, so um with a rigid material. Then um that helmet will be used for uh. Then I'll cut it out and then add the um, mechanics this and that, and I might even add um. Uh, motorized faceplate, which means um it's controlled by remote switch, so you go up and down and not using your hands as a manual, um hinge so yeah look forward to that and uh, now I'm really happy with how the how this one turned out because this was kind of rushed it took about three weeks I think three weeks from start to finish from making the cardboard um, cardboard shape to body filling and sanding you know it looks great but you know it still isn't perfect the the next one I will try my best to make it perfect so yeah the new helmet on the mark 6 suit yeah and then the gloves are over there so yeah thank you so much for watching and um, you know if if you want to you can um, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep updated on my works it means a lot to me so yeah, more projects to come soon, especially the new um, Mark 6 helmet and um, even um, maybe I'll even start working on a Batman helmet because um, I made an old one but it wasn't, it wasn't very good so I might want to you know redo it and make it perfect. So yeah, thank you for watching, see you.